Welcome to Ordinary People with Extraordinary Lives, a podcast dedicated to the testimonies of believers and followers of Jesus Christ. I am your host, Arlene Spucklow. Hello, friends, and thank you so, so much for joining me on this quick episode uh, where my goal today is just to share with you guys some new updates and some of the new changes that have been happening in just the past three months. And also to answer the question that some of you guys have asked me, will you continue doing the podcast? What, what, what's going to happen with the podcast? Uh, why haven't you been sharing more uh, episodes lately? So I will share more on that in just a little bit. But before, I would like to just start off with uh, sharing a little bit of the updates uh, on the new changes that have been happening in just the past three months. I mean, just with moving out of California to a completely different state and then also a new job, new church family. I mean, everything new in three months. It's definitely something that I was in expecting i think on my uh, on this podcast i've had i have shared um how much i loved you know my church family at grace community church and just working with the team at grace productions and uh all the just this time that i've been able to spend with them and all of that and so for me you know my mentality was like no i will always stay here there is no way that i'm moving out of california my husband you know was born and raised in california so of course there is no way that we're gonna move out of california but again, I make my plans and make my plans, and this was not part of my plans. But the Lord has definitely been teaching me a lot, and I hope to also share a little bit of that with you in just a little bit. So it all began in December. Um, you know, my husband and I had been uh, just talking about uh, just trying to find new opportunities, um, you know, maybe for him, just like a change of career, change of industry for his job. And for the longest time, I mean, he had been trying in California, but that wasn't working. The Lord really didn't open any doors for us there. And so we started considering just, you know, applying in other states and trying to see what was out there. And so we started that. And I believe everything started off like just at the end of November. So here we are, December comes. As we're waiting for my husband to hear back from one of the states, here we are also saying our goodbyes to two dear friends who were already in the process of moving out of California to move to Arizona because he got hired to work at a church in Phoenix, Arizona. And so as we're saying our goodbyes, we're also uh, sharing with him uh, just like, you know, what my husband was thinking through and just uh, about the new jobs and applying in different places. And so when we told him, well, one of the states that he is considering is Phoenix, Arizona, and so he's waiting to hear back. And so on that day, I remember that while my husband is waiting for that, this friend also tells me, oh, this church that I'm going to is also looking for someone to work in their media team. Would you like me to send your resume? And I was like, yeah, sure. I mean, I haven't even, you know, been thinking about like applying or anything like that. I w it was in my mind, but for me, it was just like, well, I'm still working. We're still here. So we haven't heard anything. So we got away and we're praying to see what the Lord is going to do. So that day, it was a Sunday. He sent out um, my resume to the pastors at the church. And here we are, my husband and I, you know, waiting this week so that week uh, he hears back from the job and they were very interested in uh, hiring him and because they felt that he will be a great value to their company and so he worked out all the details and they agreed to what he was asking for while all of that is happening um, then I also I'm in the conversation with this church uh, about the possibility of maybe working with them. That week was definitely one that I was definitely wrestling with the Lord because for me, I, in my own selfish desire, I really was just hoping that the Lord would close every other door in every other state and just keep us there in California so we could be, you know, with our church family, Grace Community Church, and all our friends because, you know, we love our friends and just the ministries that we are involved with them and all of that. So for me, instead of praying, Lord, open the door, it was more like, Lord, can you just please close these doors? Just let us stay here. 
and so obviously you know when my husband for for him he he was talking to other friends like other uh, men in the church giving him guidance and counsel and he was uh, talking to them about just talking through everything and just making sure that he was making the right decision and it was honoring to the Lord not just for his own you know selfish desire and ambitions and so my husband that week uh, him and I we were just talking and, and he said that if the company would um, just agree to what he was going to ask that he will see it as the Lord really just blessing this step and this next step and this decision also and so here we are and of course the company got back to him the company agreed to everything that he said and here we are having the conversation and so we made a decision that we were going to move basically in a matter of two or three weeks we are planning out to move our, our whole life from california to phoenix and so here we are we, we visited uh, phoenix just to make sure that we were familiar with the area that we were going to like it and for us it was the last step to make that final decision of really moving just going to phoenix and visiting and uh, checking out the church also that our friends uh, were going to we came back it was on december 16th we visited we visited the church i was able to meet with the pastors at redeemer bible church this was basically the final conversation to probably and possibly uh, working with them and so we go back to california and as we go back we're basically back to packing so here we are, we have two weeks to move out of our apartment and so to move our, our life to Phoenix, Arizona. Again, it was not something that we never thought that this was gonna happen so quick and it did happen. I mean, in a matter of two weeks, here we are about to move. And I am so thankful because during that time, all, all those sweet dear friends from church, they came alongside me and they were there to, um, you know, to, to help me to pack and all of that. And obviously the, the most difficult part was just having to say goodbye to uh, all those friends at the church that we had been doing ministry with. So obviously after we made the decision of moving, then we had to start reaching out to the pastors and just the friends that we had been serving with and letting them know that we were gonna move. And I am so grateful too, because even uh, my when my husband was calling the pastors, they were just so gracious and also just making sure, like, why are you making this decision? Why so quick? Why, what's happening? And so I'm very grateful that they did that, just to make sure, again, and double check, you guys are doing this because you really, Think that this is what the Lord wants for you and this is really just the Lord opening this opportunity for you and leading you through this so yeah so it was it was definitely a bittersweet time um, there were many tears and for me also wrestling with the idea of moving and uh, because I just wanted to stay there I wanted to stay with my friends and and hoping that you know I could continue to do ministry with them and also it, it was a time where I just felt like Lord but why 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 do we need to move like why do we have to go i couldn't understand like why the move like why do we have to go because in a way you know my husband is not pursuing ministry normally those are the, the people who leave normally is because they're you know they come they train uh in seminary or you know they're getting trained to to go out and do ministry but that's not our case so why are we doing this so there were many questions there were many things and going in my head at that time and i'm just thankful also for the friends that they were so encouraging and so helpful to just like guiding me through to get out of my head and to really see what focus more on what the lord was doing and well in december 31st uh, my husband drove to phoenix arizona and then i follow a week later because i wanted to stay just to with my team in um in california to work with them in person because then i was going to move to working remotely temporarily and so here we are we move uh in a matter of like two or three weeks we're moving and then we get to phoenix and uh here we are we rented an apartment so that weekend actually where we visited phoenix we were able to find also an apartment and our uh, in our mind was well the lord is also giving us an opportunity to be able to you know purchase a home so we're gonna rent for a little bit and then we're gonna move into um, and then we're gonna start searching for a house and hoping you know and praying that the lord will provide um, a house we don't know how long that's gonna take uh, so we'll see we'll we'll stay in this apartment in the meantime because my husband needed to start his job and then i also needed to um, 
get ready for ending my full-time position with Grace Productions so that I can transition into my full-time uh, job with uh, Redeemer Bible Church as their social media marketing director. And so as you can see, the Lord was just blessing us all the step of the way. I mean, from uh, just the job for my husband and then a job for me and then you know we didn't have to even go searching for a church the lord provided a church and then a job for me in this church and uh, then also with the move everything was going so smoothly like just like the packing and like getting everything ready to move and then finding the apartment so quick also in a matter of like i don't know that weekend that we went and just check out some apartments and then even moving to Phoenix, I mean, I arrived uh, the first week of January to Phoenix and then my husband and I went house shopping and here we are, we're searching and looking and seeing what's available for us. And then um, just February, I think it was February 26, yes, uh, as I'm recording this right now, it's been probably a month now, uh, we moved in into our new home. Uh, so here we are on a second, <laughs> second time moving. So we moved from California to an apartment in Phoenix. And then from that apartment in a matter of like a month of being here or less, we're moving into this, uh, into this house now. And so again, the Lord was just providing abundantly for us and just um, blessing us also with such a great church here. Now it's been a month of working with Redeemer Bible Church and I'm truly enjoying my, my job. And I'm also working as a subcontractor with Grace Productions. So I'm still doing both. So I'm, great, I'm very thankful to the Lord that I'm able to do both. Uh, just a part-time side with Grace Productions at Grace Community Church. But now I'm also full-time here at uh, Redeemer Bible Church. And so as you can imagine, and with all of this it's been such a busy season and this is why we haven't really been able to post uh episodes that often but now this leads me to my next question will i continue doing the podcast and what else can we expect from the podcast like what's going to happen with it so the answer is yes uh, it is uh, truly my desire to continue doing the podcast obviously probably it's not going to happen in the way that it was before where i was posting so often but it is my goal to continue doing this podcast because it is such a sweet ministry for me. It's been such a blessing and, encur and also an encouragement to me just interviewing so many brothers and sisters, not even just locally, but all around the world. Uh, and so it's been such a blessing to me. And I know because I've talked to some of you in person or maybe even through social media, and I've heard how much you have been encouraged. And I'm so grateful that the Lord um, has allowed me to do this. And please be praying for this because, you know, as we are transitioning now into uh, all of the newness of life here and the new church, the new job and our home and just like taking care of my home, uh, because that is my first ministry my marriage is my first ministry and so i just want to be wise in the way that i'm using my time that the lord will also help me to find the time to you know to invest in this in this podcast where whether it is like the recordings or you know reaching out to people to be on the podcast but also the editing the editing is what takes the most time for me and so i just really ask your prayers as uh you know as we continue to uh, work our uh, our way now back into recording but just uh, stay tuned because i do have two more episodes that i recorded back in california uh, so two episodes uh, from last year that i'm hoping to release in the next uh, few weeks so um, i'm very excited to share that with you guys and then continue to uh, record more testimonies uh, because i truly love doing it but now as i think back on this past three months um, I just, I am so thankful just for um, what the Lord has been teaching me through this time. One of the things, first of all, that the Lord has really taught me is that He is sovereign and I am not. He is God and I am not. He is sovereign over all things and He controls all things. And I think uh, this is a season that I've been able to see that played out in my own life. Like we hear people saying, you know, and we know like the Bible says that he is sovereign, but having this opportunity to really see it because I had so many plans, but this was not in my plans to move out and to leave my church family and my friends. Uh, but the Lord uh, is so kind. And the second thing that the Lord has been teaching me is to trust and depend on the Lord. This one is such an 
easy thing to be able to say to other people. You know, like I can I, I can think of so many times that I probably told a friend or somebody else, like, well, trust in the Lord and depend on Him because that's what the Bible says. And though it is true, it is so much easier said than done. And I think this is a season <laughs> where I have to truly trust in Him and depend on Him because, again, there were so many unknown there were so many questions in my in my mind of like what's going to happen now but how we're going to do this and this and that and what if and what if and what if there were so many what ifs and like and what's going to happen and the lord has been so gracious and so kind to me uh to me and my husband just through this time and to uh, really help us to really trust in him and to truly believe that he will provide that which we need and i can think of uh, one verse that i want to read to you guys i can think of Philippians 4 19 and it says my and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus and then the third thing that I uh, I've been learning through this time is really submitting to my husband as submitting to my God again it's one of those things that we know and, and we know the Bible tells us that we need to submit that we need to honor Christ through our marriage this season has been one where I've truly had to submit to my husband in a way that I don't think it, that I had to do in almost the four years that we've been married and it's been a really just sweet opportunity to be able to you know to really experience what submission truly looks like in in a marriage so i'm just so grateful for that because again we hear many people always telling us oh you need to submit to their husband but when the time comes that we really need to submit how do we even do it i'm not saying that i didn't have my my you know my moments of just like really wrestling with the whole idea and making the decision that we made but just like doing it with a joyful heart yes i still felt sad and i cried and all of that but you know how can i continue to better serve my husband during this time and and just making sure that i'm also uh playing the role that i've been giving as a wife so it's been really sweet just to see the lord really guiding us through all of this i'm just so grateful for that which the lord has been teaching us through this time but i'm also so thankful for you guys and also for your support and for uh just even sharing with us how uh, much of a blessing this podcast has been to you uh, trust me it has been a blessing to me and it's been such a sweet time of fellowship with many brothers and sisters in christ and i just pray that you know that we can continue to do this i hope that it continue to be a blessing to you guys but you know as i reflect again uh, on everything that has been happening on this past couple of months i just want to leave you with this verse that honestly it's been in my mind throughout this whole season it is this verse found in proverbs 69 so i'm going to read it to you and it's proverbs 69 the mind of man plans his way but the lord directs his steps and this verse honestly has been one that uh, it's been so true for us and i'm just so thankful that it is the lord who directs our step he is in control he is sovereign and we can trust him because he is the one who sent his only son to die on my behalf i am very excited for this new season and just to see how the lord will continue to use us and i just pray that you know that you guys continue to support the podcast and that this podcast can continue to be a blessing to you guys so thank you again friends and i am so grateful for you so thank you again and i will see you next time